Hi, hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new album from Temples called Hot Motion. I hope you enjoy. The album opens up with the self-titled track. Um, it starts with some very booming percussion and some synth work in the background. That's some aided by some very fuzzy and buzzing guitars. Um, it's a very noisy track with a bright tone to it. I think the vocals and the verses are decent here. They don't make the track better, but they're okay. I do like the the lyrics. I think the biblical tinge on them with the mentions of like religion and kind of human endeavor is pretty interesting. I think the chorus is good. I like the sing-songy element of it. I do think it goes on for a bit too long, um, which kind of drains the track of replay replay value for me. But I like the outro here as well. I think it's a it's a good. For this one, there's more buzzy, fuzzy guitars on this one with some very melodic chords in the background. Um, I like the vocal performance here. I like the rhythm of the verses. I think the vocal range here displayed is good. It has a nice mixture of these lowly ver verses and these very high note hooks. And the chorus, while I didn't like it first, it grew on me on the second listen and helps make the track a bit more enjoyable for me. Uh, this one has a nice like sense of funk to it there's some funky chords and i think the the vocals correlate with the rhythm very well i like the reverb on the track too i think it complements the instrumental quite a lot and the chord progression is okay and the track kind of sounds like a track you would hear like at a jam bar or something but i like the outro i like the swelling sounds and some of the instrumental breaks as well i think it's a solid track uh this track sounds like it should be on yeezus i'm just kidding but it uh it has a very anthemic vibe to it with these marching band like drums and this fuzzy electric guitar in the background. I like the cheeky lyrics about handling your pride when it's broken. The vocal performance here is good, though I wish there was a bit more character to them given how bombastic the track is, but I, I still think it's a pretty good one. I like the chords here. They sound like horns in a way, standing out of the fuzziness of the track, and they're very playful as well. I like the lyrics on here with the theme of like religious hierarchy, I think, work into it. And I like the use of like the background choral vocals during the post hook. I think it gives the, the track a very slight sinister feeling to it. And the last leg of the track is great as well, starting with a very soulful chord solo before finishing off with the hook. This one starts off with some vocals before going into an instrumental that sounds like there's like some strings in the overtone of the track. It gives the song kind of like a vampire weekend kind of feeling with like Ezra Koenig like vocals. It still retains the normal sound of the album with the, like the fuzziness. It works the instruments in a way that varies up the palette of the track. Um, I think the lyrics here are once again uh, well written. They discuss the idea of the beam, which may refer to like heaven's light or a passage into a whole new world. There's a big sense of adventure to the track that I really love. Not quite the same, has some very punchy drums and cymbals, followed by a pretty basic bass riff, if you ask me. Um, it does add some bright keys to the background during the refrain. I like the vocal melodies on the track as well. I think they help the instrumental develop a sense of character throughout the track. The outro has more fuzziness and a worthwhile, decent progression as well. However, the track is like really soaked in reverb, which hurts it here, and it's very bloated at five minutes, but uh, I still think it's a good track. The first half of this one sounds like a psych folk song with these very soft and charming acoustics, and it's surrounded with atmosphere as soft electronics wash over the track during the refrain. However, the second half of the track seems like an unnecessary progression because it goes back to the previous sound palette of being buzzy and fuzzy again. Even though I think the vocals are good, the lyrics are pretty interesting. They kind of detail this uh, how an atom would be before it explodes, seemingly. Um, the psych folk element was something I was really, really excited to hear because it was a nice palate cleanser, but going back to that familiar territory just fails to capture a feeling of dynamicism, and it sounds like an utter, utter waste of a track, if you ask me. More of the same instrumentally um, includes more of a playness to it and some bit of adventure as well. It just does not work for me. Like No matter how much I try to listen to it, I can't get anything out of this track. It's not bad, it's just, it does nothing for me. I like the opening riff, followed by some big drums before referring back to the band's typical sound on the album. Uh, the overtopness of the hook kind of works well here. I think the vocal performance really sells it for me. Not much to say. It's a, it's a fun track that overstays its welcome a bit. This track starts off with some very light strings that lead into a fuller psych rock sound that loudens and softens at will that I actually really like. 
Uh, I love the vocals here. I think the songwriting here is also great. I think it's the best on the album. And the track has actual progression with more instrumental layers being added to the track. And it has a very nice, satisfying payoff to it. I think it's a great closer to the album. Overall, I think it's a fun album to listen to. I think the hooks are solid. The production, while it's a bit too samey at times for me, does its job. Um, it does have some issues regarding like identity of the band. Like Even though I like most of the tracks on here, it doesn't have that it factor to let me know I'm listening to Temples. If another band made this, I, uh, I wouldn't have noticed, to be honest with you. But even with that like glaring flaw for me... I still enjoyed listening to it. It's a pretty good psych pop, psych rock album. I would highly recommend it if you want just more, if you're just a big psychedelic pop fan. I don't think you'll be blown away by what you hear, but it is very enjoyable. And with that being said, I'm giving this one a 7.5 out of 10.